Hey everyone, welcome back to another Hitman video. This time we are in Sapienza to complete the True Fan Challenge and also we're going to complete the Grave Digger Challenge and I'm also going to show you a way to complete the mission as well, all in one video. So what we're going to do, we're going to enter with default equipment. We are going to have to change our disguise once. We'll even change our pistol just back to the silver baller just to prove it can be done with default loadout. Like I say, we're going to have to change our disguise once because we need to be disguised as the superfan to satisfy that query. So we're going to start, skip the cutscene and run along the beach. Firstly, we're going to grab this soda can under here and this is where we're going to find the superfan. We'll pick up this brick on the way through because we need as many melee objects as we need. And it's always good to have them on hand. There's another soda can just here. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait in this undercroft and what's going to happen is our super fan will walk around so you can see on the mini map the black dot that's furthest away from us just started to move towards us now we're going to get behind him and knock him out as long as we're sort of where this ridge is in the tunnel we won't get spotted by anyone and we can basically just get up behind him and knock him out so just crouch as well just so you're out of sight grab his body we're going to take his disguise and put his body into this dumpster it's important that you hide the body some people think that he won't get spotted down here, but if they all panic, they can find him. So the next thing to do is go around to this corner, take your coins out and throw one at this no entry sign. Pick it back up because you'll need it later. But that dis dis um, distracts Luigi. You can crouch down, pick up the insecticide and the other guy won't see you. Back into the main chamber now. And we've got a couple of little bits to do to make sure we're ready for the setup. Change to your soda can. We're going to go straight through here, open the door and throw the soda can to knock the bodyguard out. Spin around, pick up the screwdriver and what we're waiting for now is the guy who's furthest away from us to start turning around and walking back. So there he goes and we can toss our coin on the floor. This will distract the producer, pick it up again and we'll run through to this light. Once you're happy both guards are looking away, we can use our screwdriver to fix the light. And that is what will encourage the producer to call Craig Black and get him to come down here we need to do a few more bits though before we actually get to that so we're going to go out of this door drag this body pick up the gun and take the body into this side chamber here nobody comes in here so we can dump the bodies in here without any issue pull the wires on the uh, security camera and that sets us up for the whole mission we can drop the gun we don't need that and we're going to go up the stairs and prepare our escape so we need to kill craig black in that in that crypt and then drag him up here to the grave so sprint all the way up go around to the left hand side swap to your coins and we're going to knock out this church warden throw it against the wall then press against the wall and then we'll subdue him around the corner and we can hide his body and that's an easy one to get him out of our way we don't want to disturb the other npcs that are moving around here so we'll dump his body don't put it through the window if you do that you will be spotted nip through the window yourself pick up the wrench and we're going to run along here and up the stairs. If you time this well, you should be coming down the stairs just after the bodyguard and just after Craig Black. We're going to hold up the bodyguard a little bit just so we get a little bit of space. We want to knock the bodyguard out before he goes into that main chamber. So Craig Black will go through. We'll go down, we'll shut the door just to hold the bodyguard up a bit longer. Wait till he's walked past you and then we're going to knock him out. We're going to need to hide his body as well, so we'll put that in this crypt as well. Nice little side anti-room where we can just dump these two bodies, pick up his gun so we don't want that getting found either. And as we go into this room, we're just going to wait and poison the whole room and wait until they've all passed out. It's a good idea to save just before you do the poison because sometimes they pass out in a random order and it'll come up as body found, which is impossible. Some real intricacies with this one, but basically we just need to wait for the gas to stop emanating from the, cup, the the sheets in front of you. Sneak through, pop a bullet in his head, and that is the kill done. So that is your super van unlocked. You've now got this disguise as a starting disguise. We're going to leave the bodies where they are apart from Craig Black. We're going to drag him up the stairs, and we're going to proceed to do the Grave Digger challenge now. So he's been killed in the crypt. That's tick one for Grave Digger. Now we need to bury him in the grave that's outside. If you've done all the steps I've done before this, you should have no issue with getting here. The church warden trap is in the other room. 
And when we get outside, we just need to wait our time just for this passing patrol to move into the right position. Make sure you are hidden from them. Make sure you can't be spotted here because you are trespassing. Even if they don't see the dead body, they will see you. So you can see the three people on our screen. They are the three people that are in the way. The guard now is furthest away. The two guards, we're going to wait for the guard nearest to us to turn around. And then as soon as he does that, we can start towing the dead body down the path. Go along this pathway, stay this side of the bush. And basically, we just need to wait for this guard now to move. Here he is. He's off towards the wall. Just wait in that gap just to make sure he doesn't do a random head turn. And there we go, we can dump the body, and that is your Grave Digger Challenge completed. If you were only doing those, you can save and quit. You've now unlocked both of those, but we're going to go after Brother Akram as well. So we're going to jump down here, save here. I've had so many times where this NPC ahead of us walks in there and it goes red guns for no reason at all. So it's just a good idea to save. And then you've got a point. He's found the bodies. They've all been knocked out by a gas. So they should be all green guns still. But I have had a couple of times where red guns have fired. So just a warning. We're going to run up this hill really quick in our scream suit. And basically now that we've knocked the cameras out. We can move pretty freely through this next area as we get towards Brother Akram. We're going to go into what would be normally 47's apartment in the normal Sapienza game. And there is a lady NPC in there who we need to knock out with our wrench. So switch to your wrench now. She will either be in the bathroom or heading outside. We're a little bit behind so she's headed outside. But we'll knock her out, we'll grab the wrench and we'll drop down. Lockpick this door. This is why you need the default equipment. The lockpick and the coins have been super handy. And we're going to walk in here and we're just going to turn the tap on. This will distract Akram's guard. We can then knock him out and then we can have it nice and easy. We're going to turn the tap off and we're going to go back out the door and press ourselves against the wall. He's going to come in here. Akram will go into the other room. And this is where we can just separate them and make the kill. So it's best to wait until the doors are shut just to make sure that guard that you can see in the background doesn't see through the gap. And once we've done that, we can pick up our wrench if we want to and all the junk that comes with it. We've got the car keys as well, so we can escape through the front. Switch to our pistol. The guard is looking away. We are good to go. Just for some reason I cycle through my inventory again to make sure I had the right pistol. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our instinct to wait until he is chilled out and he is meditating. And then we're going to sneak around the corner and pop a bullet in his head. Some reason I got stuck somewhere here, so I actually got spotted by him. But thankfully, we were able to get the kill away. The guard didn't hear. We can pick up the vile weapon. And we can actually leave him there because the other guard didn't hear that shot, which is great. Sometimes he does alert the other guard and then you have to be quick. But that's an easy out. We can just retrace the way we came. Back out through the apartment. Oh, it went too far. Back out through the apartment, down the stairs. And we can take the car exit at the front. So there you have it guys, Silent Assassin. It's not suit only because we needed this disguise. Default loadout. We completed the author part 2 in Sapienza. We completed the super fan. So we now have this as an outfit we can choose. And we've also completed the Grave Digger challenge. And that's your lot. We exit and that is mission complete. I hope you enjoyed that one guys. I hope it helped you. If it did, please leave a like. If you're enjoying the series so far, please consider subscribing. Really appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.